Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel from Baker here again. Today we're baking multi-grain bread loaf. This is a very easy and simple recipe. If you guys are interested, please keep on watching. This bread is a very crunchy outside and a very soft and fluffy inside. At the same time, not saggy to eat. It's very good. Worth trying guys. Now let's start the process. In one and a half cups of warm water, let's dissolve one teaspoon of sugar. And then let's pour in our instant dry yeast, one and a half teaspoons. Let's just mix it until it's still uh, fully dissolved in the water. And after that, uh, let's set it aside until it blooms. In a clean bowl, let's pour in two and two third cups of bread flour, two third cup of multigrain flour, one and one fourth TSP salt, teaspoon salt. Then we have here some sunflower seeds. This is optional, guys. If you don't have any, then you can just stick. To the flour mixture. So I also have here some flax seeds and some sesame seeds. And so if you don't have any of these then just please stick to the flour mixture. It's actually it's totally fine. It's completely great even without these seeds. And then just give it a quick mix until all of our dry ingredients are well combined and then make a hole in the middle so we can pour in our liquid ingredients we have here one tablespoon of vegetable oil i'm using the olive oil and then here is our yeast mixture and then let's just uh, mix it together so we can uh, have our multi-grain bread dough so I'm just using my spatula you can use any wooden ladle if you have to but the spatula is completely fine and then after this we're just going to cover this with a cling wrap and uh, let it rest for about 45 minutes to one hour or until the dough is doubled its size And then after 45 minutes, here is our dough. It's double the size, more than double actually. And it looks really good. I'm having a hard time to take off the, the cling wrap here. So I'm trying to help myself up with the spatula. And yeah, I'm just folding it, folding the dough so the air bubbles will release and that our dough will become fluffier so and then i'm transferring it into the baking pan And then let's just cover this with cling wrap again and let it rise again for the second time before we're going to bake it. So as we are letting this rise, we are just going to preheat our oven to uh, 200 degrees Celsius. So here I have already let it rise for 30 minutes and as you can see, it has doubled its size and then we're going to bake it in the oven for 25 minutes to 30 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius Uh, 
after that, after 25 minutes, ta-da! Look at how beautiful is this. So if you want the shiny color on top or shiny texture on top, you can just brush some melted butter. So that's what I'm going to do now. As you can see, it looks really good, crunchy on top. And then I'm brushing some butter. So it will have a shiny look. This looks really good guys and very easy to make. So you can just easily make this at home if you want to have a fresh bread from the oven. Come on, get the hands on the board. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much guys for watching and I hope to see you again in my next video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please click that notification bell below so you will get updated for my future uploads. See you again. Bye-bye.